Hi, everybody. Um, thanks for joining us again. We're continuing our discussion on the five R's. Um, just to recap, um, the five R program includes... Uh, so we've got five steps, and we're talking about digestive health. So first of all, we've got to get rid of some of the junk. So we remove obstacles to GI health. Then we need to do the replace. We're, we're trying to like go by memory here, so let's see how we do. Replacing the, dige the supports needed to appropriately break down your food, so that's what we're going to focus on today. Then we talk about re-inoculating, getting the good bugs back in, repairing any type of breakdown or irritation in the digestive tract, and then, um, what's the one? Relax re re or retain. Re retain. There we retain. go. Uh, yep. What do you have to do within your lifestyle and your diet to maintain those benefits? So replace, basically what we're going to talk about is replacing the things that we may lack that allow us to digest properly. Mm -hmm. um, most notably, we look at digestive enzymes. Um, we hit chewing your food pretty hard last week, and that's replace. We need to replace our ability to digest. There's a tons of enzymes in your saliva. So again, you don't have to buy anything to chew your food well. But when there is a digestive um, displacement of digestive enzymes, it can be very therapeutic to replace those enzymes with right. digestive enzymes. Right, right. And there's a lot, there's other reasons why that can happen too. Um, we should, this is probably a topic in and of itself, but in our world we talk a whole lot about um, inadequate stomach acid. Uh, you know, a lot of people think they have too much acid because they end up with reflux or heartburn or whatnot. Generally speaking, we look at that in the completely opposite way. Um, do we go into that now or is that like a topic oh, no, we for can, another day? No, no, we can, okay. talk, we can okay. talk about that. So what I usually explain to people when it comes to not having adequate stomach acid is that there's a valve between your esophagus and your stomach called the esophageal sphincter and that is a pH dependent valve, meaning if your stomach doesn't get acidic enough, it does not close. So you still have some acid, and if you've got food in there and it's churning around, there's definitely some acid present, but if there isn't enough acid, and there's a lot of reasons why that can happen, that valve isn't going to close all the way, and some of that acid or food materials can actually regurgitate back into your esophagus. So the sensation is pain and burning doesn't actually mean that there's too much acid. There are some exceptions, and regardless, even in some low acid states, we can't go right to increasing stomach acid right. because there is some erosion and tissue irritation going on. So if we just throw more acid in there or enhance stomach acid, we can make the pain worse even though we're trying to make the problem better. So that's where we often go to enzymes instead. Right, and oftentimes we're starting people with just a plant-based enzyme, a papaya, a pineapple-based enzyme, pancreatic enzymes. Um, Prime Just Veg, one of our Dakota Serenity products, is basically plant enzymes. You should not get the burning sensation. Um, we try to start people slow. Uh, do an enzyme with one meal for a week and then go to two meals for a week and gradually increase your enzyme usage so that your digestive process improves. And once somebody has gone through a series of these, then we may look at adding an enzyme that has betaine hydrochloride or glutamic acid. Um, there's something called the betaine challenge where people take enough betaine hydrochloride in increased dosages till they get a burning and then reduce your dose. That's certainly a possibility. I kind of like to go the other way. Let's not cause any more harm. Let's really try to fix the problem and do that gently. Mm -hmm. I yeah. agree. So a little bit of background on enzymes before we do our little science experiment. Um, so your, your digestive enzymes are produced by your pancreas. Um, so your stomach has to get hot enough, like we talked about, to sort of break, get your food breaking down a little bit. Then as that food starts to trail from the stomach into the small intestine, the pancreas dumps enzymes in at the beginning part of that small intestine to really get things nice and, and fully broken down. So that's the part that we're essentially mimicking is after the stomach step, once we're moving further down into the, the digestive tract and the enzymes are getting pushed in there, this is essentially what we are enhancing. So because of course you can't absorb your nutrients, you can't get the benefit out of your food if it's not broken down completely. Great. Okay. Should we do our demonstration? Yeah. Okay. So, so this is this is not our lunch. This is um, chocolate pudding. Tell us about our experiment there. Um, this is a digestive enzyme capsule. I'm going to open up this, dump the powder into this cup of pudding, and stir it up. Um, you will see what happens when the enzymes in here start to work on 
the fats and carbs that are in the proteins, a cup of proteins yeah. that are in mm -hmm. a cup of pudding like this. First of all, yeah, okay, it does not run out of those cups. So we dump our enzyme in there, and we're going to stir it. And this is one of our plant-based, right? Is there, is, this is a. This this is this is yeah. a plant-based enzyme, yeah. And as I do this, you are start to going. It is going to start to thin out, mm -hmm. which it already has started to do. And this does kind of mimic, you know. So you've chewed your food. You know how your stomach kind of gurgles, and you, as your food is going through your system, you can kind of tell it's moving and rolling, and intestines are working. That's essentially what's happening with the di you know throughout the digestive tract with what he's mimicking with his knife here. So ready? One, two, three. We digested that pudding. So that's how digestive enzymes work. That's why we take digestive enzymes and the benefit to be gained from supporting your digestion via enhancing your enzyme output. Exactly. So we have covered Replace. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. We'll do it again next Friday.